Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Sir. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the sight of the Lost Fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? 
Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. I'll see you on the other side. Looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the Great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And... Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? 
Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit! You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Uh-uh, <laughs> not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate. They found the ships. In Borneo? Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're gonna get us into that dig site. We are gonna snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Man, we'll pay back some bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. 
Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. Three months, and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now, wait, wait a minute. We've been... Commander! That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no, need, no need. I am surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead! Oh, crap! Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Ooh, there has to be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. Ah! Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Here we go again with the pushing. <laughs> The trail leads in here. Oh, man. More bodies. Oh my god. You know, maybe I'm crazy. But it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, Nate. You're just getting spooked. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Careful. Christ ah! <laughs> mighty. <laughs> Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. A ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, 
the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a pathway path to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Come on, keep moving! <sighs> <sighs> Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, when you said Lazarevich had a head start on us, you weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh... Yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh-oh. We got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you all right? I've been better.
Seems like I am always saving your ass. Well, it is an ass worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Oh, well, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Yes, it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah, I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's our next move? Nate? I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance, so what does it mean? It means we know how Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is gonna be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe. Now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right. Right. Well, okay. That's uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Yep. Uh. Boy, it's a shame you have to sit on something that big. Here you go. Say I never do anything for you. This way. Go. Okay. Any day now. Just don't want to get a skin shot. That was chivalrous, huh? Yeah, it's not dead. You just gotta ask for it. I don't like these odds. No? No, I think maybe we should cut over to the hotel a different way. Just avoid this crew altogether. I'm sorry, do you have a plan to go along with that grenade? Yes, I do. I'm gonna circle around this way, break up their little party. Aren't you forgetting about somebody? Well, that's where you come in, sweetheart. I need you to take care of him. But, uh, do it quietly. Do it quietly? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Desperate times, right? What does that mean? Here it comes! Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's the last of them. You got it? Yep. Come on up. Unpleasant. You must have hit a generator. Give me a hand. Just a little more. Nate, move. It's no good. I'm gonna have to fix the power to get you out. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I wish I'd brought something to read. Looks like the circuit breaker's on the top floor. Just sit tight, I'll take care of it. Great. Power's out and a girl's trapped. I swear to God, if there's a zombie around the next corner... Oh, God. Almost there. Come on. <laughs> hey, check it out. Marco. Really? Come on. No. Marco. Hello. Fish out of water. You are so unprofessional. <sighs> well... 
Here we are. Now we just gotta find the right temple. Well, that may be easier said than done. No, tell me about it. Maybe we can... Oh, bingo. There it is. That's the one. Yeah, it's gotta be. The one in the middle of all the gunfire and explosions. Lucky us. Nate, that's right where Lazarevich is camped. I was hoping we'd be headed in the opposite direction. Well, desperate times, right? Drake has been spotted in Sector 18. Oh, crap. Any chance this is Sector 19? Sweep the city, find him, and take him up. Son of a bitch. All right, time to go. Come on, Nate, let's get moving. Damn it. How the hell do we get across? Oh god, be careful. Holy shit. Here, I've got you. Give me your hand. Just go! Don't stop! <laughs> in that <laughs> This way, come on. Guess we caught this hotel in the down season, huh? <sighs> come on. Nate, look out. Whoa! This guy doesn't give up. Get down. That's our way down. Go, go. All right, all right. No oh, crap! Oh. Are you okay? Oh god, that hurts. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna find another way down. All right. Oh, hey, hey, don't you... Hey! <sighs> Nate? What the hell are you doing here? Elena? Jack, don't! Wait, you know this guy? Yeah. This is Drake. Oh. Sorry. So, what's your angle on all this misery? You gonna plunder a few temples, loot the museum? It's nice to see you too. Suppose you're here for some noble crusade, right? Actually, we're trailing a fugitive war criminal. Zoran Lazarevich, have you heard of him? Isn't that NATO's job? Well, they think that he's dead. 
killed in some bombing raid. Oh, and you're here to prove otherwise. You know what? This guy's a real monster, Nate. We're talking torture, mutilation, mass executions. See, now he's he's plotting something new. But why out here? Why why tear apart the city, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. Oh. Well. No. Tell me you don't have anything to do with this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There you are, Nate. I think I lost them. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's all right, Chloe. They're journalists. Oh. Well, we need to keep moving if we want to stay one step ahead of Lazarevich, so... Oh, man, Nate. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Now, don't jump to conclusions, Elena. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I sensing some history here? Oh, Elena Fisher. Last year's model. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Yeah. No, no. Glad you find this so funny. Well, it's, I never figured you for the white bread picket fence type. Hey, she's a lot tougher than she looks, thank you. <sighs> oh. Oh, what? She broke your heart. Oh, please. She did. Hey, you didn't know what? She? Maybe I broke hers. Oh, yes, Casanova. We need to get moving. Uh, wait. Um, they're coming with us. Can't be serious. Uh, yeah, I am. I mean, I can't just ditch him in the middle of this mess. They're only going to slow us down. And if uh, we Chloe. Caught, if Lazarevich catches you and me together... I'm not leaving them behind. You don't always have to play the bloody hero, you know? Nate! Just dance with the one who brought you, all right? Yeah, I get it. They're still coming with us. Well, we don't need saving, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> you might want to rethink that. Shit. Run! Just come on. We have to hurry. How about that, huh? brought us right to the doorstep. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's not a coincidence that we ended up here? Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> God, you're an ass. Okay, just what is it you're after, anyway? See that symbol up there? It's called the Chintamani Stone. Nate? It's a massive raw sapphire. It's worth millions. So let me get this straight. You're competing with a psychopathic war criminal for a mythological gemstone? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty stupid. Yeah, thanks for the input, Jeff. And it's supposedly in this temple. Uh, well, no. It, stone itself isn't here. Hey, look at that. No? Uh, no, it's in Shambhala. Shambhala? Nate? Yeah, you know, Shangri-La. Can I have a word with you, darling? On second thought, perhaps we should continue this conversation inside. Good idea. Come on. All right, we should be saving here for now. This just doesn't add up, Nate. Lazarevich can't be after the money. He doesn't need it. You're missing something. Come on. We haven't got all day. You two stay here. Right. Promise me you'll stay put. We'll be right back. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, well, that's more like it. You don't think they're a couple, do you? They're not a couple. Uh. the hell out of here. Sorry, my life is still flashing before me. Oh, I'm hungry. Hey, whatever you do, don't fall. This seemed like such a good idea down there. That's 
amazing. Chloe, I know where that is. It's right here. You see the shape of, of that peak there? Uh-huh. Here it is. Which means... Let me use your back. Which means... The entrance to Shambhala must be right here. <laughs> so, we did it. We did it. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Oh, crap. That kills the mood. There's only one way out of here. You ready? Let's go. We better keep moving. He's hit. Uh, I'm okay. Let me see. Oh. All right, you're gonna be fine. All right? Think you can stand? I think so. All right, come on, hop it. No. No, 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 leave that. It's busted anyway. Here we go. Up. Oh. 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 Nate. He's fine. Aren't you, Chief? All right, get the door open. He's never gonna make it. We have to leave him. What? No! Uh, get the door open, Chloe! You're gonna get us all killed! <laughs> Do this. Just go. Whoa. Ah. I think we're clear. Oh, look ah. out. Ah. Pick up the pace. You're gonna Come be okay, on, Jeff. You're gonna be okay. Oh. Stay with me. Holy shit! Come on, this way! Oh. Open the gate! Heads up! Oh. Elena! Right, we can make that. He can't. Oh, no, you don't. We don't have a choice. <laughs> Nate? Okay. You tried, but it's over. He can't go any further. We can't just leave him here to die. He is as good as dead already, and so are we if we don't go now. Then go. Yeah. Nobody's stopping you. Chloe. I was trying to save your skin, you idiot. Chloe? What is this? Up the stairs! Sorry. Drop the guns. Seriously. Get her out of here. She's hurt. Take her to the train. Unbelievable. You just can't help yourself, can you? I guess that makes us even. Not quite. So, this 
This little man is Drake. Mm. Did you carry him all the way from the temple? Shame. No! Now, tell me what you found in the temple. The answer that you're looking for. Okay? I know where the stone is, but you're not gonna find it without me. So just... Just let her go, and I will lead you right to it. My shadow. You are the reporter who has been biting at my heels. You better pray that he is not bluffing. Search him. Come on. <laughs> that is brilliant, mate. Here. It appears you have nothing to bargain with, Mr. Drake. Return to the staging ground. Prepare to move out. You, come with me. You. Take care of them. No problem. How can you work for that monster? Beats working against him, love. So that's it, huh? Just gonna mow us down in cold blood? Looks that way, doesn't it? Get up. I said get up! Ah! Run! Stop that! Oh. So you got a plan B? I'm working on it. There she is. Flynn's got her. Second thoughts? No. Okay. They're about to take this show on the road, so we're gonna have to move fast. Now I'm going down there alone. No, Nate. Wait, wait, wait. Just listen. You never listen. Meanwhile, you're gonna go over there. Snag is one of those nice looking four by fours. Four by fours. Mm. You're gonna be the wheel man. I'll sneak in, I'll grab Chloe. You come in right behind us. With the getaway car. With the getaway car. Yep, got it. Got it? I got it. Go. Mine, jerkweed. <laughs> Save my ass again. Are you all right? Get off the train, mate. You have any idea what I've been through? I never asked for any of your bloody heroics. Chloe, come on, we don't have time for this. You're right, so get off the train while you still can. And leave you with them. You made your choice. What did you expect me to do? I expected you to have my back. I had your back. How could you possibly with the other two on yours? Well, good luck with Flynn. We deserve each other. You know, I can't believe... No. You just don't know when to quit, do you? What? No witty remark? Nothing clever to say? I don't. No! <coughs> oh, no, you don't! Stop. Just let him go. Put him out of his misery! Stop. 
easier just to let go. Come on! How about a break? You gotta be the big hero, don't you? This one holds. Excuses. Look, give me some more time. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> I have given you enough time. I have brought you the dagger. Now, where is the gate to Shambhala? Look, Zoran, we know... <laughs> I have not come this far to be thwarted by your incompetence. We know the answer is somewhere in this room. We just have to find it. Meanwhile, Drake remains just one step behind you. I clearly hired the wrong man for the job. What an asshole. I'll, uh, I'll try to smooth things over with him. Just stay here, see what you can work out. That belongs to me. Nate? Get out of here. Give me the dagger. They'll be here any Chloe, minute. Chloe, don't make me take it from you. How am I supposed to explain where it's gone? Well, you'll think of something. You always do. Just... Just do one thing for me. Take that son of a bitch down. Stay behind me. Drop the gun. Do it! Stay back! Shit. I should have killed you myself when I had the chance. Not a mistake I will make twice. Back off! Oh, pull the trigger, little one. See how long you live. Now, you will open the passage to Shambhala. Go to hell. Are you a student of history, Mr. Drake? I've read a book or two. Mm. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, they were all great men. But do you know why they prevailed? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Because they had the will to do what other men would not. <laughs> Compassion is the enemy. Mercy defeats us. Now, unless you wish to test me still further, you will drop your weapons! Do it. Kick them away. 
So, you have tested my will. Now it is my turn to test yours. Killing us won't get you anywhere. Or killing him, yes. But you? You hurt her. You get nothing from me. Well, then it appears we are at a stalemate. Unless I add another pawn to the board. Bring her in! Shit. Ah. Get your hands off me. <laughs> now, one we will use as a lesson, and the other we will use as incentive to cooperate. You choose. This is bullshit, Nate. Yeah, don't play into his game. You want my help, you let them go. This is not a negotiation! Who would you sacrifice, and who would you save? Or this one? You want to save this one? Or maybe this one? Hmm? You know what? Enough of this shit. All right, quit the theatrics. I'll do what you want. Calm down. You, asswipe. Give me your lighter. Should I know? Find a way across. And fix it! And take him with you. Maybe this time it will get done right. Oh, I missed the drink. Don't try anything clever. After you. What the hell are those things? <laughs> what? Scarecrows. Guardians to frighten trespassers. Yeah? Well, it's bloody effective. Zarvich. Done what you asked. Let them go. Always bargaining. But you have played your last hand. And lost. Looks like it's the end of the road, mate. No, 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 no. Not yet. I want him to see Shambhala. And die knowing that I have taken it from him. Open the gate!
You have been a thorn in my side for far too long. On your knees. Hey, hey, uh, Zorn, we had a deal. I do not suffer traitors. Oh, right, so I suppose you know exactly how to find the stone then, won't be needing me. Thanks. On your knees! <laughs> what is this? Fire, you fools! to get the hell out of here, now. These bodies look like they've been here 60, 70 years. Hey, didn't seem to do them much good, but here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, Lazarovich and his crew will have headed into the city, so if we can just make it back to the entrance, it should be clear by now. Uh, no, Chloe, we're going after the Chintamani stone. <laughs> what? We have to stop Lazarovich. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Get to the stone first before he does and destroy it. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't tell me you're buying into all that supernatural nonsense. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, well, just in case you missed it, that man is certifiable. He thinks he's fulfilling some sort of prophecy that the stone will somehow make him invincible. Immortal. <laughs> We're standing in the middle of Shambhala, and you're questioning what's possible? Yeah, you saw how many bullets they pumped into those things? Something strange is going on here. All the more reason why we should get out while we still can. Uh, I'm just trying to set things right. And maybe save the world? Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, Sunshine. The world doesn't care. You stick your neck out, you are asking to lose your head. You said yourself you want to take this guy down. Yes, and I want to see him pay more than you do. But that's not how it will end. This, this is how it will end. No, not this time. <sighs> Come on. What do you say? That you're crazy. But let's go save your bloody world. There it is. The Chintamani stone. I can't believe we beat them here. It's beautiful. Yep. Magnificent. <clears throat> now let's smash it and get the hell out of here. Uh, wait. Something's not right. What do you mean? Marco Polo had it wrong. This isn't a sapphire, it's amber. Amber. Yeah, you know, fossilized resin. It's tree sap. Wait a minute. What is it? You gotta be shitting me. Hello, Nate. I hate it when he does this. Tell me about it. How could I have missed it? Missed what? There's not actually a stone. It's the resin, the sap from the Tree of Life. Okay, hold on. Now you've lost me. This tree. No. That tree. There he is. Lazarevich. He's headed to the tree. Oh my god. The black teeth. What? The, the black teeth on those guardian things and the bodies in Borneo. They ate the resin. And it changed them somehow. And you think that's what Lazarevich is planning to do? Well, you really want to wait around and find out? Bravo, Sherlock. Well done. 
Flynn? Jesus. Oh, Harry. What's the matter, mate? Disappointed Lazara bitch beat you to it? I'm afraid you just missed him. Figured I'd stay behind and wait for you to come join my little party. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe that's what old Zoran wanted all along, eh? He's cleverer than he looks. Well, we can still stop him. <gasps> Elena, don't. No, oh, we can help you. Sorry, love. This isn't a movie. And you're not the plucky girl who reforms the villain and saves the day. It's just not done like that. Flynn, listen to me. You... Parting gift from the Zarevich. Pity he took the pin. Get back! Elena! <laughs> No. Oh my god. Helena! Okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. Come on. Stop, Lazarevich. Go! Not a chance. Come on. Oh, shit. It's all right. I've got her. You cover us. This way. I think that's the last of them. Hey. Hey, Elena, how you doing, huh? Not good. You just hang in there, okay? I'm counting on you. Head for the gate. Go as fast as you can. What, what, what do you mean? No. No way. Look, Chloe, I have to end this. No, you don't. Don't you dare take on this stupid crusade. <clears throat> Just get her out of here. Not without you. Look, if that stuff could really transform Lazarevich and his army... Please don't do this. If it could actually make him invincible, and I didn't try to stop it... But this is suicide. And you know it. Just go. Get as far away from this place as you can. The Meat Lake. How many men have you killed? How many just today? That's it, boy. No compassion. No mercy. Huh? Do it! No. <laughs> you don't have the will. Maybe not. But they do. What the hell did you do back there? 
Well, you know, save the world. You got her? Damn it, we gotta move faster. Let's go. Hold on, all right? Just hold on. Come on, stay with us. You're gonna be okay, all right? You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be just fine. Elena, don't do this. Elena! So, it's been a long, strange trip, hasn't it? Yes, it has. <laughs> you know, you should play the hero more often. It suits you. Nah. <laughs> Tell me something, Nate. What? Do you love her? Chloe, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Really, it's all right. Just do yourself a favor, cowboy. Tell her. Chloe. No. My turn to walk away. But admit it. You're gonna miss this ass. <laughs> well, look who's not supposed to be out of bed. Yeah. He's a lousy patient. Stubborn as all hell. I'm not stubborn, I'm just restless. <laughs> so, no giant sapphire. Once again, no. <laughs> and you're sure of that? Yes. <laughs> just a metaphor, I'm afraid. Metaphor ain't gonna pay your bills, kid. Well, something else will come along. Just gotta have faith. Yeah. That and a quarter will get you 25 cents. <laughs> uh, which way'd Chloe go? See you later. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a dirty old man, Sullivan. Uh-huh. <sighs> you did good, Nate. I think he'd approve. Yeah? Uh-huh. So where do we go from here, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead. Of course not. <laughs> but then again, neither have I. Good. So, on a scale of one to ten, how scared were you that I was gonna die? Four. Four? Yeah, why? A four. four. Yeah. You were at least an eight. An eight? You were a total eight. An eight? Those guardian things were an eight. Are you kidding me? Yeah, those were terrifying. What's a ten? Clowns. Clowns over my death? I, I clowns. hate clowns. I hate clowns. Oh, my word. You thought I was dead. No. No, you thought I was no, gone. No. Yes, you did. No, I, I saw had you, you all shed along. tears. You shed a bunch of them. Tears? Mm -hmm. It was raining. No, it was not. <laughs> you were unconscious and it was raining. It was totally sunny out and you were bawling. It wasn't sunny. You were unconscious. Whatever. I kept your tears in a jar. I have proof. I'll give you five. How's that? Move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. Yeah, I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> 
Oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, it's a burden to hand. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well... We're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um... Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Come on! And the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D, one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Oh, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance. 
swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well, I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian, Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> what the hell? Why aren't you in France? We're rescuing you? From what? We thought you were captured. Or worse. Wait, why? Uh, well, uh, Talbot ambushed us at the chateau. It was a trap. Yeah, we figured they must have followed you too. Well, yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So we might want to think about keeping it down a little. Uh, what happened to you two? We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete ripoff. <laughs> what? Mine's broken. Again? Look, just forget all that. You'll never guess what we've discovered. I've got it all in here. <laughs> Not only did Elizabeth's spy network stretch all the way over here, but they were all part of some sort of hermetic secret society. The British Occult Secret Service, the School of Night, the Hellfire Club, the Order of the Golden Dawn, they're all connected. So John Dee... And Francis Walsingham, and Walter Raleigh, and even your mate Drake, they were all in on it. But for them, it was all about the power. Controlling their enemies through espionage, deception, fear. Hey, guys... Wait, 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 wait. So Marlowe and her crew... Are the same secret order 400 years on. We cut to the goddamn chase, please? Yeah, we really need to keep moving. Sure, sure. Look. Quod est superius. Est secut quod est inferius. As above, so below. That's the key to all of this. We need to get to the highest point of this castle. <laughs> Thus, the stairs. Well done. Hey, maybe around the corner. Yeah, all right. No. Give it to me. Good. Now the journal. Thank you. Don't trust Drake. How's Charlie? Who knows? No, no, no! Shit. Uh, 
He's gone. How in the world? Hey, Charlie, you okay? Huh? Charlie? What the hell? <laughs> Look at this. Man, what kind of black ops bullshit is this? Let's just hope he didn't have a big dose. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Easy now. Look at me. Charlie, right here. Come on, we gotta move now, okay? Just don't touch me. Get away from me. All right, all right. No one's touching you, Charlie. What the hell was in that dart? Your face is peeling off. Well, whatever it was, he's tripping balls. Charlie, listen. Hey, you're okay. Get off! I won't let you take me. Hey, nobody's taking you anywhere. Just, just come with us, okay? Yeah. Oh, no. The floor's melting. We can't stay here. We gotta move. How? Our only hope is to find the crypt entrance. Great. Any ideas? Well, Charlie was onto something. I just don't know what. The Wand of the Magician. Without his journal, we're never gonna find it. Just let me think. All right, uh, Hermetic. From the Greek, Hermes, meaning pillar. I think we got that part. Is that seven pillars of wisdom? Between mercy and severity. Wait. Wait, we've got uh, this all wrong. <laughs> it isn't the space between the pillars. Yes. It's the middle pillar. Balance. What? It was in Charlie's you know? book. The pillar of balance uh, between the two extremes. Between um, black and white, water okay. and fire. Yeah. Female yeah. and male, the middle way. The middle way. That's it. Sully, give me a hand with this. All right, come on. Charlie, no! Dude, stop! Charlie, cut her! Charlie? 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 No! Get what are back! You? Don't! Charlie, you're killing Nate. Okay, you gotta listen to me. You are killing Nate. Charlie! <coughs> Shoot me, will you, mate? Like a rabid dog. Wow. Let's try this again. I'll go first this time. Ugh, shit. Now follow me. No, no, I'm not turning my back on you just yet. After you. Huh. Putting that gun to the back of my head, telling me about the rabbits. <laughs> hey, play nice, boys. Yeah, come on. You're almost through. Guys, we don't have much time. Come on, go! Yes. Thanks very much, I'll take that. Great. Drop your weapons. Yeah. I don't think so. Well then, what a dilemma. We seem to be equally matched. Until the rest of my men show up, that is. We can wait. Oh no. Guys? Charlie? Oh god damn it. Well, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? Now drop your guns. Why don't you go cut and shoot him? No! Wait! Just... Stop. Okay? Now that's better, isn't it? Shoot him. You son of a bitch. Cutter, pull the trigger. My pleasure. Run! Head for the tower! Go, go! Shit, I'm up. Run! Get 
cops. They might have given us a wink or something. Well, they didn't expect you to give up quite that easily, did they? make it. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Charlie! What the hell? <laughs> you didn't get very far, did you? Hand it over. Piss off. There's nothing we can do, kid. Jesus, this is unbearable. Oh. Uh. Oh, Carter. I had such high hopes for you. <laughs> yeah, right. It's true. You had potential. Now, well, it's funny how things work out, isn't it? You betray my trust, and now we find ourselves here. As if it were in the cards all along. Don't move! Don't move! Jesus, my leg! Don't touch it! It's broken! I know it's broken. Just easy does it, mate. Hang on. Nate, look at this. Oh, what the hell? This way! Okay, we can't stay here. Just leave me the gun. I'll kill those bastards. No way. We're getting you out of here. Come on, get up. I got him. You, got you cover us. Okay. Go! Uh, okay, okay. The bus. We're taking the bus. Well, that won't attract any attention. Morning. Not worth the price of admission, folks. Here we go. Uh, one. I got this. You take care of him. Uh, here they come. Sully, get us out of here. Looks like we lost him. All right. I'll find some place to ditch the bus. Great. Doing all right? Oh, fabulous. <laughs> that was too close. He'll be okay. No, I mean the whole thing. It just isn't worth it, Nate. Let this one go. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just give up. If you let these bastards win, after this, I will never bloody forgive you. Don't you worry, Charlie. There's no way I'm letting them win. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. Right. So it's a plan, kid. Uh, I guess I'm going to Yemen. You up for it? <laughs> of course I am. All right, we gotta find a quick way in. No hassles. Think I might know someone we could call. Who? Oh no. No, no, no. You got a better idea, I'm all ears. What about... No. Fine. Make the call. Now this was a crazy ride. Hmm. Another lifetime, Chloe.